U.S. intelligence services are planning to increase their espionage capabilities, after the House of Representatives introduced a bill titled the North Korea Intelligence Enhancement Act. The proposed legislation would give the U.S. intelligence's agencies clearer monitoring powers over the North Korea's nuclear weapons capacity, enable early warning systems and assessments to hold Kim Jong-un accountable to the sanctions imposed against the rogue state. The bill, which will affect America's 16 intelligence services, including the Defense Intelligence Agency, will give the U.S. legal backing to enforce the United Nations Security Council resolutions. The purpose is to direct the Director of National Intelligence to establish an integration cell to monitor and enforce United Nations Security Council resolutions with respect to North Korea, and for other purposes. In addition, the U.S. bill states its aim is to identify any gaps in intelligence relating to the monitoring of the nuclear weapons program of North Korea, and provide net assessments and recommendations to the Director of National Intelligence relating to North Korea. The proposed legislation comes as reclusive state threatens to reduce the White House to ashes with a nuclear strike if provoked. The reclusive state has also accused the Central Intelligence Agency CIA, of plotting to kill Kim Jong-un in a chemical attack. North Korea has claimed that the aim was to kill their leader during a public event in Pyongyang. The state-controlled KCNA news agency said, the heinous terrorist criminal group was discovered which infiltrated the DPRK after careful preparations. According to the report, a North Korean citizen was involved in the plot using biochemical substances including radioactive substance and nano-poisonous substance to kill off the leader. The report said the plot was uncovered and accused members of the CIA of working with North Korean citizens to carry out state-sponsored terrorism. The Pentagon is looking into potential connections between the North Korean hermit state and the Islamic Republic of Iran. U.S. defense officials fear the two counties have been sharing information on their rogue missiles for years. An Iranian ballistic missile test in late January was supposedly based on North Korean designs, according to the Pentagon. Last summer Iran has also launched a missile similar in design to Kim Jong-un's Musudan missile, one of the country's most successful weapons. Reduced to ashes North Korea threatens the White House with a nuclear strike. North Korea has threatened to turn the White House to ashes with a nuclear strike as Kim Jong-un's regime warned the days of the U.S. are over. In a scathing 2000-word editorial published by Kim Jong-un's state media agency KNCA, Pyongyang condemned President Trump's decision to dispatch naval forces to the Japan Sea, and promised a victory for the DPRK. Alarmingly, the hermit nation's military commander said the White House would be reduced to ashes as the editorial claimed the U.S. was planning to destroy Pyongyang. The editorial read, This is a stern warning to the U.S. imperialists and their stooges running amok for aggression and war moves. The world will clearly witness how the crime-woven history of the U.S. imperialists will be over, how the despicable remaining days of the South Korean puppet forces will come to an end and how national reunification, the cherished desire of the Korean nation, will be achieved. The article also claimed 330,000 U.S. soldiers took part in military drills designed to rehearse an all-out war with North Korea. The piece pledged that Pyongyang will retaliate and the crime-woven history of the U.S. imperialists will be over. The propaganda arm let rip at U.S. forces with a barrage of insults branding soldiers murderous ogres, robbers, air pirates and warriors who master the occult arts. North Korea also accused the U.S. of being a hotbed of evil which needed to be hit with an indiscriminate preemptive nuclear strike to transform the superpower into something that cannot come back to life again. The despotic nation also claimed the war drills key resolve and full eagle were hideous state-sponsored terrorism and the most vicious and adventurous in history. Tensions between North Korea and the U.S. show no signs of cooling after the rogue state this week accused the CIA of plotting to assassinate Kim Jong-un.